For four years, Abby Webster spent Friday nights clad in QP purple and gold with a pom-pom in each hand. In her four years as a varsity cheerleader, she's been the base of the pyramid and she's taken flight. Cheer is her passion, but her brain doesn't agree. Everything's really foggy and hazy. Like I can remember, it's like being somewhere, but you kind of feel like you're not there at the same time. It's kind of like you feel like you're in a dream almost. She suffered a small head injury as a sophomore, but bounced back quickly. About a month ago, she sustained a series of blows to her head that created a second, more serious concussion. She came down from a basket toss and was caught awkwardly at practice. Her head jarred and she immediately fell woozy. But with the state competition approaching, she returned the next practice. I came down again from the same situation, same basket and my head like ricocheted off of my back spots, like collarbone, chest, like really hard. And I think that's, that was kind of like my ticking point there. And so when I came out, I can remember like telling my teammates like, wow, like I can't see right now. Like my vision's really blurry. When the Missouri State High School Activities Association, or MISHA, started tracking concussions in the fall of 2011, one in every 219 cheerleaders sustained a concussion. This year, Due to mandated reporting, the rates jumped. One in every 39 cheerleaders sustained a head injury like Webster. Webster's coach, Molly Lyman, says that having a trainer at the school has helped increase concussion reporting. While there's been um, a change in having that full-time trainer, so that's been a big change. Um, you know, in the past when we didn't have her, I would just somebody gets hurt, I would call the parents myself, tell them, hey, this happened, you may want to come get them, they've got a headache, they feel dizzy. While the increased number of cheerleaders suffering from traumatic brain injuries is alarming, concussions aren't new to cheerleading. We, we've always seen that number, um, but now we're kind of keeping track of it a little bit more. So it, on paper, it looks like there's a big increase, but we really didn't track it that well beforehand. Schools initially weren't required to keep head injury data. In Misha's fall of 2011 report, 71% of schools said head injury information was not available. Now, after the passage of the Interscholastic Youth Sports Brain Injury Prevention Act, schools are mandated to provide concussion numbers. Trainers in Columbia are also increasing concussion testing parameters. Head injuries and cheerleading have always gone hand in hand. Regardless of advances in testing and awareness, cheerleaders like Webster are still hesitant to return. I love stunting and tumbling, but at the, with what I'm going through right now, it is scary. With producers Mitchell Summers and Callie Luna, Zach Newman, KOMU 8 News, Columbia.